Now we're going to make the admin page, the generic admin page, using an HTML table. Again, we'll use an existing HTML file to make this new one, because most of it's the same as we've done before. So open up moviesingle.html in Komodo Edit, find the section area, and delete everything inside in between the section tags, leaving the section tags themselves in place. And immediately save the file in Favorite Movies as admin.html. Inside the section tags, first of all, we're going to start out with a div. We're going to put the heading for this admin section. So in the div, then we want to have h2 headers, and we'll put manage users here. We can use the same structure later for manage movies. After this, we're going to have an HTML table. A load of nonsense has been written about how awful HTML tables are to the extent that some people seem to think you shouldn't use them at all. This is complete rubbish. We use tables for tabular data, which could be anything stored in a database. The thing about not using tables is that we no longer use them for layout. Once there was no choice, people came up with all sorts of tangled, difficult designs to overcome the fact that there, was no, that there were no proper styling tools. But now we have CSS, so we don't do that anymore. An HTML table begins and ends with table tags. And inside them, each row of the table is made using TR tags. We're going to have three rows. So I'm going to copy and paste those TR tags in so that we've got three of them in total. First one's going to be the table header, and then we're going to have two data rows. But inside the first set of TR tags, which is where our header's going to go, we're going to put in TH tags, standing for table header. And these are the columns of the table, and this is where we put the titles of the columns. So inside the first set of TH tags, we put in first name, then in the second column title, we put last name, and for the last one, we put insert delete. Then down to the next table row and put in TD tags for table data. Inside these table cells, these data cells, we're going to display data from the database, which we also want to be able to edit. There are three columns, so again, we'll copy and paste those table cell tags in three times. And that's going to give us the data cells for the three columns. Now we're going to display data from the database, but we also want to be able to edit it inside the table. So inside the TD tags, we're going to have input boxes. And we need to specify the type of input box that we're using. In this case, it's a text input. We're going to be able to type into it. So put type equals text with the text inside quotes. Then we're going to give it a name to identify the data that it'll contain. So for this, we're in the first name column, so the name is going to be first name. Inside quotes again. And we can put in a dummy value. We just put in anything here, any name, so that we can see the table cell, otherwise um, we won't be able to see anything in it. So I'll put in, for the moment, Albert, you can put in anything you like. And that's the end of the input box. Input's a self-closing tag, so we don't need a closing one. As I said earlier, we don't need a forward slash at the end. Select that, and copy it, paste it in again, change the field name from first name to last name, and give it a different value, so that we can see it. And then down to the Last TD cell, this is our insert delete cell, so we just put in the words insert delete. Finally, copy all of these TDs, go down to the next TR, and paste them in. Just so that we've got several rows, so that it looks like a table. Just change the values here to any other names that you want. Save and preview the page in a Komodo tab or in a browser. 
doesn't look very nice, but it's functional as far as the structure is concerned. Validate the code again. And again, there's no problem. And we're ready to go on to the next chapter, which is going to be styling these three pages that we've made.